black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Yo, what is up, guys? It is the same day as the my old rough living situation video. Just got done that, uploaded it, and now I'm going out to try this place called Nortino's Taqueria. It's a new taqueria, authentic Mexican taqueria, which in this city where I'm at is a rarity. We do not have many like authentic uh, cultural type foods, like, you know, ethnic foods, whatever you want to call it. It's just, I live in a mayonnaise Canadian town. So, you know, to have this open up is very intriguing to the mind. So I definitely want to go try it out. They've got uh, taquitos and tacos and some sides and stuff that I, I basically know what I want. I looked at the menu, so I pretty much have it all down pat. But uh, rolling up there, it's a great gloomy day, but it is a day of hunger because I have not eaten yet. So I'm definitely ready to grub on some food and I'm really hoping it'll be impressive and good and delicious and uh, I, don't, I have no idea what I might talk to you about, who knows, but until then maybe you have a little trippy driving footage, okay? There you go. The bag is secure. You all know the drill. We gotta secure the bag. We gotta bring it down for a close up. I'm hoping this uh, daylight is good enough because it is currently like thunderstorm weather out. It is so dark in the sky, but I hope it's natural enough light that we can have a good time here still. But we got some taquitos, we got tacos, and we got a roasted corn salad essentially. And uh, she hooked me up with some sauces, these mild sauces. So straight up, already the spot looks bang. Are you kidding me? This looks authentic and legit. Presentation is amazing. The way they packaged it, I'm really into it. That's dope, I'm really into that. Okay, first things first, these tacos. I got one chicken, one pork, and one beef. I got all three. They did have a, one with lentils, a veggie one, but unnecessary for me i don't really uh don't need that i'm gonna go for the chicken first and they gave me this mild salsa it's definitely very like home whipped house made fresh salsa got a little lime squeeze on there and a legit Ooh, it's nice and warm too man this place is killing it already and these tortillas look so legitimate. Pineapple, herbs, chicken, salsa. starting to rain we're gonna get some rain ASMR nice pull shredded chicken tortilla has a uh, great texture hmm it's holding up well. Flavor's pretty deep on the chicken. I like it. I'm impressed with that. Next up, one of my favorite items. Is a nice corn salad. Mm. Of 
grandma. I don't know that this corn was charred though. I would like more of a char. It's cold. And I feel like I want it to be warm. It is good though. Mm. A couple things I would change on that. More char and warm. I just feel like the, the cotilla cheese and the sour cream and everything or the mayo, whatever they use. When it's warm, it's nicer. Chicken taquitos with uh, lettuce and like a salsa verde, no, not a salsa verde, a pico de gallo, I should say, on top, sour cream. Nice and fried. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. Hard to beat a taquito. Hard to beat fried things. Pretty funny, I went in there and you know, it's mask season. I have a hat and hood and a mask and things like that. And the girl working behind the counter, I, uh, I knew exactly who she was, and uh, <clears throat> we knew each other a little bit back in the day, like we weren't, she's a year older than me, we didn't go to the same school, but we had mutual friends, and she played competitive soccer, and so did I, and there was a time where our male team played the female team. And she was a good player. And so we were, I just got done ordering. And she's like, she's like, who are you? What's your name? Is it? Da -da. And then she knew exactly what it was. And she's like, I'm so-and-so. And I'm like, I know. And I was like, I just didn't want to be. And then she's like, the one. <laughs> I was like, yeah, the one to, like, start to kick it off. And she's like, don't worry, I'm always the one. <laughs> so we had a little life chat. A little catch up. Mm. Sloppy, but really good. And uh, I was like, are you still living like kind of on this side of town? Are you around here? And she's like, I actually moved back in with my parents because I had a back surgery. And I was like down and out for a while and like needed help just surviving. And I had just got done making that video showing y'all about my, you know, different but same down and out scenario <laughs> where I had to depend on family. 
So it was a funny little universal moment there. But we had a nice little uh, little catch up, little chat. She's a personal trainer for like her main job. And then I guess she works there a couple times a week or something like that. About to go in on this pork. I wonder how dark this video is by now. Sky is crazy. I asked her who opened the restaurant because it's well done. Like it's very, they know what they're doing. They have the aesthetic down. The authenticity is there. It's well executed. So I just asked her who opened it and then it was, of course, a couple of dudes I, I knew as well from growing up here. So shout out to them because they're doing a good job. I feel like this place will definitely succeed. The pork taco was different tasting, so that's good. And uh, I think better than the chicken. And this is the shredded beef, like barbacoa, I think it is. That homemade salsa. Really solid. Onion, pineapple. I feel like in the meats themselves, I'm just searching for a little more depth in the flavor. I feel like it could just be seasoned a little deeper, perhaps a little saltier. And a little more complexity in the seasoning. Out of all of them, I think the pork had the most interesting flavor. The beef the least, chicken second probably. Mm. All in all, a few things that we do differently. Each taco was 350, 350 per taco. The taquitos were 11. Salad was five. So altogether it came to like, like 28 bucks. Which is, you know, it's pretty standard, it's manageable. It's, it's what I would expect. Definitely uh, has me full. I'd get it again. I definitely get the taquitos again. If I do go back, I'll probably try the pork taquitos because they had chicken, beef, or pork. And like I said, the pork seemed like the best flavored item. So I'd probably get the pork taquitos for sure. And then 
maybe switch something else. They also had tortas, and they have some other sides. So if I if I did go back, I would switch it up, try some other things. But pork taquitos would be where it's at. The, the taquitos were on point. Anyways, I hope you can see the food in this video because, like I said, the sky went crazy dark on me. But until the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.